fast, punchy, brutal kick drum. It's the foundation of metal and the thing that separates this genre from all other genres of music. And if you want that unrelenting power to be a part of your sound, whether you're playing live or recording in the studio, then you need this. The greatest, most brutal kick mic ever made. And it's only 70 bucks. Every metal era remembers their first exposure to the genre. It was some mixture of chainsaw guitars and brutal ass double kick. For me, it was Fear Factory Zero Signal in the original Mortal Kombat movie. I'm a little kid with my big ass bucket of popcorn, eyes bigger than Johnny Depp watching Amber Heard take a mushy crap on his pillow. I could not believe what I was hearing. The song starts off with that galloping kick pattern. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Welcome. I was hooked instantly for life. And if you want that life-changing effect on your audience, it starts with kick, and this is the mic that you need. The $70 Behringer BA-19A. Now I've owned an embarrassing number of kick mics over the years. The Beta 52, the AKG D112, the AKG D12, Sennheiser E602, Sennheiser 421, Telefunken M82, Solomon Low Freak, DIY Subkicks, Shure Beta 91, CAD KBM 412, and Audix D6. And it's not even close. The attack and sheer brutality that you get from this kick mic for only 70 freedom bucks is unmatched. Let's move over to the DAW and I'll show you one of the many ways that you can process this mic to crush your enemies. All right kids, here we are. So uh, I've imported uh, just the uh, 19A file over here so you can hear just what it sounds like raw. So I'm gonna play that for you real quick. See how it's got a nice, it's got a nice low end, it's got a nice uh, mid-range, has good attack. It has what uh, Nolly calls the thuck, thuck, T-H-U-C-K. The thuck, it's like this, uh, it's like the, it's got like the meat of the kick, right? And it's, uh, it, it has a real nice sound when you uh, process it, uh, blends well with other mics. It's uh, pretty great. So I'll play that part, this little double bass part one more time. So this is with all of my mics to, uh, together. This is everything, so listen. All right, so sounds pretty good. I like it. But now let's mute these. All right, so we're gonna mute all these. Do, do, do. That is my, uh, the D6, that's the kick sub, and that's my kick out mic. And then we'll just boost the volume of the uh, 19A to make up for the other ones not being there. And, show sure what that sounds like. All right, so now we'll just solo it. I'm gonna play it a little better here so you can hear this part right here. I had a little bit of a problem because when I was try trying to see if this whole setup works, I didn't have the click correctly, so I kept I kept hitting the snare too early. So like in all the in all the takes, you can see like if I keep switching back and forth, you can see like here, like I got that one right on, but you'll see over here I'm constantly hitting the snare. Yeah just a bit too early and uh, screwing it up so I'll have to go back and redo that so now let me show you how I processed it all right so basically these three right here are just for uh, gating a lot of these are carried over from uh, older templates that I have I uh, got a drum level right here drum level kind of just is controlling the volume here so it's not getting too loud but remember the red lights the red lights let you know it's working. Really the big plug-in right here is Silencer. This thing is absolutely amazing.
but again, this mic doesn't seem to need it too much. And then we've also got Saturn here. Uh, Saturn's a pretty great trick. You turn down the dynamics. Some sources you'll need it, some you won't. Doesn't seem like I really need it here, but whatever, it's already there. So let's go with it. Uh, next is the SSL native channel strip. You can see I'm uh, boosting a little 8K, but I got four dBs there. Boosting uh, 3200, about six and a half. Uh, I'm boosting 1600, uh, 10 dBs and 8 dBs at uh, 57 hertz. Now you're probably asking, hey Dave, if this mic is so great, why are you uh, boosting all this crap? Well, 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 that's because this compressor afterwards, I like how this compressor works. It does lots of cool things, but it changes the EQ of the mic. So I'm basically making up for, with this plugin, I'm making up for what this one is taking away in order to even out the attack. I've got some friends who are uh, pro mixers and they're gonna be looking at me and they're gonna be like, no, 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 God, please, no, 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 you idiot, ah. Screaming at their monitors, you know, probably slamming their keyboards down and breaking it. No! Sorry guys, sorry guys, I don't wanna learn what you do. That sounds like a huge pain in the ass. So look, if I undo this, right? It's maximizing the attack a little. All right, if we come over to Pro C2. I have no idea what this plugin does at all. Uh, Alex Nasla set this up for me. I don't know what any of this stuff does. So uh, ask him, because I am not a mixer and I don't want to be a mixer. Uh, I could not care less, so just ignore that. All right, next up we've got a uh, black box. This thing, let me show you what it does. All right, it, uh, it adds a lot. It's adding some uh, saturation here. Obviously it's adding some volume. It's got some fancy knobs and dials and I have no freaking clue what any of these things do. And like I said, I don't want to learn. It just uh, makes it sound cool. It's a sound goodizer. And a sound louderizer, which is great. All right, next up to my drum sub mix here. This is another uh, plugin. I have no idea what any of these knobs and dials do, but feel free to buy this plugin, screenshot it, and do it exactly do exactly what I just did right here. So whatever that's doing, I'm sure it's uh, fantastic. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, my parallel drum bus. All right. So what you do is you take your you know, you're taking all your shells, your, your, your kicks, your snares, your toms, you, you know, and your overheads, all this stuff, and you send it to your drums, uh, uh, the submix, basically your drum bus, but you take just the shells, right, minus the cymbals and ambient stuff, and you compress the crap out of them, and it sounds super cool. What's happening here is some people will use a parallel uh, crush bus to enhance the sustain of their drums to make them sound longer. I'm using it here to uh, enhance the attack and make them uh, and make them punchier. Uh, I've used the settings again. I don't know what any of these things do really. Yep, that's it. And that's how you uh, you uh, process this mic or how I process this mic to make it sound awesome. Another great thing about this microphone is that it gives you a very like clean signal that's very easy to trigger. So if you're, you know, a uh, spirit box uh, buster core kind of guy and you want to layer your uh, 17 drum samples on there and uh, quantize it so it sounds uh, absolutely perfect and weird, you can absolutely do that. And this will give you a perfectly beautiful signal that you can very easily trigger and make things sound however the hell you want. Another great thing about this kick mic is that it's basically foolproof. Now remember, I am not a mixing engineer. There is no way in hell I would spend the 10,000 bazillion hours that it takes in order to make my mixes not sound like complete and total ass. But even my dumbass can make my drums sound slamming in a quote unquote mix. 
with this kick mic. It's super easy. You just plug it in, toss it on the pillow inside your kick drum, turn on the phantom power, and start blasting. And for an extra $47, you can buy the Kelly Flats internal mounting system for this mic and permanently mount it inside your kick drum. And your kick mic will always be exactly where it needs to be at all times. You don't even have to worry about mic positioning. I highly recommend this for anyone who is playing live shows because the engineer just has to put in the mic cable and fire up the phantom power and then off you go with your show. What makes a great kick mic the best kick mic ever made is how easy it is to mold it to fit into a mix. This Behringer mic takes EQ and compression so well that you can make it fit into anything from your E standard Elvin Fairy power metal band to your nine string, nine minute gent instrumental epic that absolutely nobody wants to hear or your 290 BPM James Payne inspired extreme death metal project and everything in between all for just 70 freedom bucks if you guys like this video check out one of my other videos and uh feel free to like comment and subscribe and all that you, you guys know how youtube works it's fun to chat with you guys in the comments and uh if we get enough comments i'll be able to do a viewer's comment video where i can spread the lovely hate from the internet to all of you so feel free to let the hate flow through you in the comments thanks for watching Hold on a second. Shut up!